Your outfits suck without jewelry. Look, I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but let me prove it to you. Here you have one outfit. It doesn't look bad, but it feels like it's missing something. And I could easily tell you what it's missing because that's exactly what the point of today's video is. And that is gonna be men's jewelry. Look, when you don't have it, your outfit just looks plain, bland. It's like it's unseasoned. So you need one thing, one thing to make it pop, to make it look significantly better, to make you stand out from everybody else. And that is gonna be men's jewelry. Look, I'm a big believer that little things go such a long way. And there's a good reason for that. It's because in my personal experience, in my life, I have to go by this quote. And the reason why, my outfits got significantly better when I started wearing jewelry. It's just something so simple that you could throw on and make anything look better. And this is coming from a guy that really likes simplistic outfits. I like minimal. I don't like doing too much in my outfits. I don't like to look like I'm trying too hard. I like laid back. I like chill. But there's a difference between doing that and just being boring. But look, if you're thinking, no, it's too expensive, I got you. If you don't know where to start, I have that covered. Any excuse you have when it comes to wearing jewelry, we're gonna be talking about that today. Okay, so you're thinking, where do I start? That is a great question. Let's talk about that. In my personal opinion, start off simple. Go with a pendant necklace or a chain. Now for me personally, my first piece of jewelry, it was a pendant necklace, I picked it up from Serge de Nimes. It was just a simple cross pendant. And the reason why I like to start off here is because a necklace like this will go with literally everything. Seriously, no matter what you throw on, this is going to look good. Whether you're just wearing a shirt by itself, whether your outfit has a few different layers, you can literally just have it poking out and it's gonna look a lot better. I personally started off with silver, but that's completely up to you. We'll talk about that later on. Now, the difference between a chain and a pendant necklace. A pendant necklace is a bit longer and chains are obviously significantly shorter. I know a few people that just don't like very long pendant necklaces that's totally fine as well you can get a chain that's a lot shorter but it is going to be a lot thicker so you really got to choose which one you like more whether you like length or width when it comes to your chains and necklace figure out which one you like more or what you can start doing later down the road is start stacking i do like my pendant necklaces but i rarely wear them by themselves now one thing that i like to do is stacking this is just such a simple way to make jewelry look significantly better that's literally what i'm doing right now i stacked two chains two different lengths and i put a pendant on one of them now if you're going to do that i definitely recommend the pendant be the longer piece in my opinion it just looks a lot better like that now when it comes to stacking your jewelry it could be a big difference or it could be a small difference like the one that i'm wearing right now honestly in my opinion either way looks good but you can switch it up and play around with it but once you get chains and necklaces down now you start moving on to other things. Now for me personally, when I was younger, I had the hardest time getting accustomed to wearing rings. But when I did start wearing them, I did notice that I got a lot more compliments. And I feel like this was definitely making me stand out from other guys because let's be real, if you're walking around, you're gonna see a lot of people wear chains and necklaces, but not as often, you're gonna be seeing some guys wear some rings. And that is because I feel like rings are a little bit harder to pull off. Not because people can't pull it off because I really do think that anybody can wear rings, but I just think a lot of people aren't confident enough to wear rings. So yes, I think you're going to be stepping out of your comfort zone with this one, but it's going to be well worth it because like I keep saying, it just looks a lot better. Now, when it comes to rings, you could either go very bold or you can go minimal. If you haven't guessed already, I would choose minimal. I only like a few. Honestly, when it comes to rings, I would say two max. But if you want to be one of those guys that just wears rings on pretty much every finger or every other finger, by all means, go for it if you like it. If you want to start wearing big rings that have like a line on it or whatever, again, by all means, go for it. So if you're going to start, go with one. And then when you get more comfortable, go with two. If you want to do three, go ahead and try it out. But for me, two is going to be max. Another place is going to be bracelets. In my opinion, bracelets are more essential than rings. But keep in mind, this is going to be a little bit more of a statement piece. But at this point, I just think your outfit looks a little boring if your wrists are empty. Whether you have a watch on this hand or you have a bracelet on this one. I know some people like to do both. I do one or the other. That's just my personal style. But yeah, bracelets, whether it's thin or very bulky, you could do a chain link one or you could do the ones that don't close. I don't know what they're called off the top of my head because I personally never owned one. It's not my style and I'm not gonna wear something that I don't personally like. But if it does catch your interest, go ahead and try it. I would talk about watches, but I feel like I talk about that a lot. So I'm gonna save that for a different topic. So I'm not counting my watch as a piece of men's jewelry, but other pieces of jewelry. You could also consider piercings. I personally don't have any piercings. Not that I'm against it or whatever. It's just one, I don't think it fits in my personal style. And two, I am terrified of needles, so I'm not going anywhere near one. But I have a few friends that wear earrings 
and it does look good in my opinion. Now, the ones that I talked about are going to be the essential ones. Everything that I talked about is going to be what I wear. So let's get into another topic when it comes to men's jewelry that not a lot of people talk about, and that is going to be the debate versus gold versus silver. Now, in my opinion, you don't have to choose just one and go with it for the rest of your life because that's what I did when I first started wearing men's jewelry. I thought silver looked the best. I didn't think gold would look good on me, so I never even wanted to try it. I think that's a big mistake. Once I started wearing gold, I started wearing it a lot, and now at this point, I really couldn't even tell you which one I prefer because I honestly don't even have a preference. But in my personal opinion, I don't like two toned pieces. So it, for me, it's either you wear all silver or you wear all gold. Now, I will say that if you're wearing a lot of jewelry, so let's say you have three or four necklaces and chains on, silver is going to look better because when you have a lot of gold, you might look like you're trying too hard, which again, you really shouldn't care what other people think. But you can be perceived like that. I personally wouldn't do it just because I don't want to look like I'm trying to be a rapper or anything. So but if I am going bold, I would stick with something like silver. I think it just looks a lot more laid back. Now, as of lately, I have been wearing a little bit more gold. I have three pieces of gold. I have two chains and one pendant on one of the chains, and I have a gold bracelet. Now, these are pieces of real 14 karat gold. So it was pretty expensive. Now, you don't have to go out and buy real 14 karat gold. You can get something like gold plated. You can get it from a few different places. Again, I'll talk about where to get men's jewelry in a little bit, but don't feel like you have to go buy real gold. There's a big difference between real gold and fake gold. To me, it's not just one or the other. You could wear gold pieces that aren't going to turn your neck green. I thought that I either had to wear real gold or I would have to wear gold for a little bit until it turned my neck green and then throw it out. That's just not the case. You can get affordable plated gold for a good price that's not going to turn your neck green. So again, experiment with both. You don't have to just choose one, but let's talk about where to get these pieces. So like I mentioned earlier, the first place that I checked out was Surge the Nimes. This is a really good place to start. Pieces range from anywhere between like 40 bucks to 150. I think the necklace that I got was about 75, 80 bucks, but this is 0.925 sterling silver. This is probably the cheapest grade of silver, but that doesn't mean it's flimsy because I've had sterling silver for a long time now and I've never had an issue with it. Now for the price, I think it's pretty good because of course it's not the highest quality or if you want the most affordable option, you can go out and get stainless steel jewelry. Now this is something you can find on Amazon for very, very cheap. A while back, I made a video talking about jewelry from Amazon. I picked up pieces, I reviewed it, and I came to the conclusion that for about 15, 20 bucks, you can get some good stainless steel pieces. Now, I can't really tell you how long those last were because honestly, I stopped wearing it, but I will say that this 925 sterling silver that I got from places like Search and Nimes, this has lasted me a very long time, probably about four years now. Another great spot would be Craft of London. I bought one chain from Craft of London and I've always gotten questions about it. So based on that, I will say it's a great place to get jewelry. Cernucci is also a good spot. I just don't really talk about them as much because I've worked with them in the past. All the pieces that I got from them were gifted. But of course, I, I wouldn't recommend anything that I personally wouldn't buy with my own money. So I do think Cernucci is a great spot. So those are my main three places where I pick up 925 sterling silver. And of course, if you want the most budget friendly option, Amazon should be the place that you check out for stainless steel, like I mentioned earlier. Now, like I said, jewelry is what kind of made my outfits look significantly better. And I really did hope this helped you especially if you're on the younger side and on a budget but if you are on the younger side and you want to learn how to dress better to school i have a video that's going to show you exactly that but other than that i hope you have a great rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video later